My research is about exploring the fundamental nature of plasmas as a state of matter. One of the areas we explore are plasmas that are very dense, and we call those strongly coupled plasmas. So you can make strongly coupled plasmas in a number of different ways. You can get to strong coupling by having high charge states, and that's where the particles in the plasma are not single atoms or molecules, but rather charged dust grains that may be micron in size. Another way is a high density, and that high energy density scenario, the electrons can become stripped off of or move freely uh, through the medium and, and are thus a plasma. The third way to reach strong coupling is very low temperature. So these are experiments that start out as very cold atomic gases, but if you take one of these experiments and use a, a laser to ionize cold matter, you can create a, an ultra cold state of plasma, and those states of plasma can be strongly correlated as well. In our group, we primarily do analytic theory and we use molecular dynamic simulations to test some of the assumptions that goes into those models. And so we'll use um, these types of simulations to uh, compute properties of the plasma like, say, the electrical conductivity or the viscosity. And then we'll use those results in order to test how accurate our, our models are. We usually collaborate with colleagues who are experimentalists. And what we do is make predictions for the behavior of the outcomes of their experiments. And so I have a very close relationship with experimental colleagues and find the data and the devices that they build to be the motivation for my work. Some of our research is motivated uh, by problems in uh, society. Low temperature plasmas are used to make microelectronic circuits, for instance. Another instance is atmospheric pressure plasmas. And that type of plasma is used to do things like uh, plasma-based medicine. And so there are basic science problems associated with how those plasmas behave at atmospheric pressure. And sometimes the things we um, discover in those basic science explorations are useful uh, for the engineers to advance their um, application of these devices. During the path of your career, there will be certain decision points where you have to decide whether you want to build up the skill set to be at the forefront of experiment or you want to build up the skill set to be at the forefront of theory. It was mostly through building up my skills in math and computation and enjoying the day-to-day -day of theory that led me in that direction.